Although in OnePlus 12's review, we said that the OnePlus 12 didn't squeeze the full potential of the Snapdragon 823, I forgot to tell you that it's not at its best for gaming experience. That's because yet another chip in this phone hasn't fixed its muscles, which is the Pixelworks X7 with integrations of the company's IRX rendering acceleration solution and IRX device tuning services. We got a global version of OnePlus 12 a week ago, so we think this is a very good chance to tell you how this independent chip turns the phone into a super smooth gaming phone, but meanwhile, stay cool and chill. I'm sure you've heard of Pixelworks, they've been working on making smartphones obtain better game experiences. The company has more than 20 years of history delivering innovative image processing solutions to consumer electronics, professional displays, and video streaming services. The Pixelworks S7 is their most comprehensive chip designed for flagships and high-performance smartphones. It delivers higher frame rates, higher resolutions, and detailed graphics without draining excessive power. The just-released OnePlus 12 global version is armored with X7 chip and IRX technology certification to deliver IRX gaming experience. It really isn't a gimmick this time, and we will show you the upgrades in an easy-to-understand way. Now we are in Genshin Impact, and I'm having my character running around. The gaming experience is actually not bad right now. After all, the OnePlus 12 is also a flexure phone. But just keep the graphics in mind. Next, I'm going to take this game to the next level. Slide down from the bottom right corner to open the uh, game center. Now you can see the main features that are only available with the X7 chip. Adaptive frame booster and hyper resolution. We used to see similar features on other phones, but almost all of them cannot work together at the same time. Uh, while the most surprising thing is that on this OnePlus 12 driven by the uh, Pixel X7, you can activate both Adaptive Frame Booster and Hyper Resolution at the same time, enjoying higher frame rates and better graphic details. Now let's go back to the game and take a look around. Can you uh, feel the difference? Actually, you may not be able to see much of difference due to the resolution of the phone's screen recording and the frame rates of our video, don't worry, I'll show you the difference in slow motion videos and much closer shots with the screenshots as well. Visually, they really do like a completely different experience. And if your eyes are sensitive enough, the images are not only more detailed, but the motion is also much smoother. This is really more natural and smoother than any of our previous test results on Genshin Impact. For example, in this scene, after turning on hyper resolution, you can obviously see that the image and edges get sharper. The texture of the wall here can be more clearly presented, which is something that used to be found only with the desktop level graphic hardware. The whole graphics just look more delicate. Almost all mobile games are wasting their phone's displays, so I'm really glad that OnePlus 12 can put it better use with the X7 chip. In order to verify its actual boosting effect, we also did some tests apart from observing with our eyes. In addition to learning the gap between these two features on and off on the OnePlus 12, we also brought a Xiaomi 14 Pro as a reference for comparison, and they are both powered by the Snapdragon Agent Gen 3 chip. Here, let's see how the OnePlus 12 with the X7 processor challenges its rivals. After turning on Adaptive Frame Booster, the OnePlus 12 just kept Genshin Impact running at 120fps, while the Xiaomi 14 Pro does have to take the phase of the game's frame lock at 60fps. As the X7 visual processor helps the GPU share the rendering pressure, the whole gaming on the OnePlus 12 is less fluctuated but surprisingly smooth. I barely noticed the lag due to any frame rate jitters. There's no doubt that the OnePlus 12 has a better game experience during the test, and at the same time, another benefit is that the OnePlus 12 was achieving smooth 120fps at display end, while its GPU was running only at 40fps, so it even consumed less power than the Xiaomi 14 Pro. As you can see, OnePlus 12's power consumption is instead lower with higher frame rate gaming. Being power saving during gaming is what those phone brands should figure out in the future. After all, playing games with a charging cable plugged in is always a terrible experience. Overheating is always another big problem for mobile gaming, but this time, with the X7 processor providing rendering support and freeing up the CPU and GPU, the phone didn't get heated up easily. After 20 minutes gaming test, they both have good temperature control, but the max temperature we detected on Xiaomi 14 Pro was still a bit higher. Meanwhile, we still have concerns about gaming latency when turned on frame interpolation, so let's test the touch latency in another game, PUBG Mobile. The FPS game is a perfect option to showcase the concerns, and I called up my colleague for a blind test. Since most phones aren't thoroughly optimized for touch latency, 
while the OnePlus 12 Supreme Booster doesn't seem to produce a noticeable latency, it was almost impossible for him to tell which test was a result of the frame booster. Then I had to use the slow motion video again to confirm how much latency was added. By comparing in slow motion, turning on this feature did increase the touch latency by roughly 25 milliseconds. So if it were you, would you be able to detect the gap? To support more devices getting the same result we just showed you, Pixelworks just rolled out a tech brand, the IRX Gaming Experience brand. The IRX Gaming Experience brand aims to outdo traditional rendering solutions with high frame rates, high resolutions, and detailed graphic solutions, but without draining excessive power. Simply put, IRX certified phones emphasizes the advantage of Pixelworks professional visual processing technologies, such as MEMC, super resolution, profound mobile gaming performance, and picture quality tuning expertise to ensuring a great IRX game experience featuring silky smooth motion, high fidelity visual effects, and sustained cool handling during mobile gaming. In addition to Genshin Impact and PUBG Mobile that we showed here, IRX also support a great number of top mobile games. Now the OnePlus 12 is only global launch the smartphone past the IRX certification and we learned that Pixelworks has promised that more phones and games will pass this certification soon. So mobile gamers, stay tuned. We really want to show you how mobile gaming is going to evolve as we are excited to see something happening on the compact machines. I don't know if you got more ideas about the Pixelworks X7 chip and IRX gaming experience for the OnePlus 12, but Pixelworks ideas of bringing a technology that used to be part of TVs to smartphones is pretty genius. And it does benefit a lot of mobile gamers. They definitely deserve wide attention. So did you guys find these features helpful? Feel free to leave your comment down below. I'm Will from China. We'll see you soon.